Now, have you ever recorded on your own? That's all I did growing up. Yeah. Since I was like fifth grade, I've been recording myself. Yeah. And then this this last mixtape was the first time I did. Okay. Now, there's a lot of artists that don't know how to record on their own. Um, how do you? How would you say the difference is? Like you say that you're more creative at home or more so creative in the studio, or how does it work? Like at home, it just feel like you ain't gotta pay first. And yeah. then two, you can just say anything you want. Yeah. Ain't, ain't no second opinion. As far mm -hmm. as going to the studio, you gotta be like, do I really wanna record this? Mm -hmm. This nigga probably gonna think this shit suck. Yeah. So you ain't really, you gonna record, but at home you get way more creative and get way more comfortable. Yeah. Like at home, I was making like 10 songs a day. Yeah. Now I'm making like 10 songs probably like a week. Yeah. Okay. Now, uh, as far as performing goes, have you had a chance to perform? Nah, that's it. Now, if there's a stage that you could perform on, like Coachella or Bonnaroo or BET, or BET Awards, uh, what's a stage that you would like to perform on, maybe? Uh, let's say BET. Probably like Rolling Lab. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's a good one. Yeah. I want to go to one of them. That's what I'm saying. Maybe yeah, turn. Alright. Now, the new wave of hip hop has changed as far as radio and streaming goes. As an artist, uh, would you say that you pushing to try to hit the radio or you just focus on maybe trying to get the back end? Yeah, I'll probably, I'll probably get the back end. Yeah. As far as the radio, I, I know niggas that's famous on streams, I ain't never heard on the radio. Yeah. So, like, I'd rather push for the, the, the back end first. Yeah. Now, uh, you had a chance to go to any concerts growing up? Or any shows, any see, see any famous artists? I seen, man, I went to a Ludacris concert, and I seen Money Man in concert. Yeah. Yeah, he came to Murfreesboro. Okay. That's the only two concerts I went to. Yeah. Now, you, uh, you went to school in Murfreesboro. Mm -hmm, MTSU. You still out there? I'm probably gonna be I'm gonna be back next year probably. Yeah. yeah. Now how was how's MTSU? It's, just... it's turn. It's too turn. Yeah. <laughs> That's why I take a break. <laughs> yeah. And, you know, take keep up there too. Right. Mm hmm So it's stay turn up there. Yeah, yeah, I bet. Shout out to Take Keep. Yeah. They putting this they putting the whole uh Memphis state on. on. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um if there's any producer it, may, it ain't gotta be Tay Keith, but if there's any producer that you could work with, what's a producer or somebody you like to work with? Uh, I probably wanna work with Chop Squad, Chop Squad DJ. Okay, I heard her, yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. What type of beats you like as far as, you like bass, 808s or slow beats? I like bass and I like sample beats a lot. Yeah. Bass and sample beats. Like 808s and shit. Okay. You have any uh, music uh, background, like as far as family goes? Like any brothers or no. uncles, anybody? No, nobody, right? No. Alright, now, uh, how supportive is the family? My family, yeah, they, uh, they really push it. They, they really support They've been supporting since I was first started doing it. Yeah. And they didn't want to the computer and anything, so yeah, they, they support They believe in now you ever make beats or anything or you, on your own? Yeah, I used to do that too. I used yeah. to make my own beats. Yeah. You still mess around with beats? I don't really be having the time because you know that be taking time. Mm-hmm. But yeah. If I, if I had the time for it, yeah, I probably still would. Yeah. Okay. Now tell me about um, the, the tape, Can't Stop, Won't Stop. You got a sequel coming, right? Mm-hmm. And where can we maybe expect that? July 4th. Yeah. Either that or I was going to do a sequel to this other tape. One of them, some come July 4th. Okay. Now, uh, you, you like fireworks as a kid? Yeah, sort of. Yeah. Them big ass ones, everybody would be running off of. I think it was going to come down sometime. <laughs> I used to be scared of them a little bit, but yeah. shit, yeah, I fuck with fireworks though. What was your maybe favorite thing to get when you used to go shopping for fireworks? I used to get the crackers that I'd be going around the neighborhood throwing them in people's feet. Oh, yeah. Or I'd get like, I don't know about it, like the little candles or some shit like that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. You gotta uh, maybe 
like a lot of kids used to do like firework wars and fights. Yeah, that's where I get the the Kragans from. Don't yeah. make you faces. Were you ever uh, had a bad experience? Like a man, somebody threw the candle and it hit me in the back of the, in my back. Yeah, and it burnt the shit. I mean, under that, yeah. I ain't really had no bad experience. Okay. Yeah, I'll be careful with them fireworks this year though. But moving on, moving on. Oh, uh, do some kind of meme questions. Mm -hmm. uh, questions you'll see on, on social media and stuff like that. But we're going to start with Cardi B or Nicki Minaj. Rapping? Rapping one? Yeah, rapping. I'll probably say Nicki though. Nigga yeah. been snapped since I was a little kid. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely, definitely. Who your, who the best or your favorite Migo? I mean, Quavo, he is the most mainstream. So. But Takeoff, probably, because Takeoff be going out for real. Yeah. That's crazy. I hear a lot of Takeoff. Mm -hmm. Nashville fuck with Takeoff. Yeah. <laughs> takeoff going. Nah, I fuck with Takeoff too, though. It's hard for me to pick. Yeah. Um. Out of these three television shows, if you could see one of these shows come back to TV today, which one would you like? Out of Uncut, Rap City, and 106 and Park. Probably 106 and Park. Yeah. But they had, to, they had to do better hosts, though. Yeah. So when I was growing up, it was cool, but when Bow Wow and all them start getting on now. Yeah. And, uh, <laughs> uh, now, when it comes to women, it's a new question. Mm -hmm. You prefer ass or tits? <laughs> Straight like I that. I prefer ass. Yeah. I mean, you know, titties cool and everything, but you you get a bitch with big titties and no ass though. Like, come on now. Yeah. Yeah, about my ass, man. Right. Now Nashville, uh, been popular for uh, it's hot chicken lately. Mm -hmm. As far as I feel like the. U.S. scene, but for Nashvillians, we always knew about it for the most part. Yeah, yeah. But anywho, do you have a? Do you like it any for the most part? The Nashville hot chicken? Yeah, yeah. Okay. You, you got a favorite place to go to? I uh, it's, it's this place called Guy Wings. That's where I be going all the time. Yeah. 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 Well, uh, you stick with the regular Nashville high? Do you get some type of? I I, I would get like Nashville high and uh, Honey Gold. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's why we did. Now, talk about uh, a little bit of smoking and music and shit. Uh, is there anything you particularly like to roll up in? Man. I don't know when you smoking in switches or games. That's why I really like to roll up in. Yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. Is there uh, anything? You that uh, gets you in the mood to make your music though? Like would you say that you like to smoke or you like to be sober when you make your music? I mean, I like to be lit when I'm recording it, but as far as like I'm writing it, I normally be sober. Yeah. Actually when I'm writing it. Okay. Now, um, 2K18, we halfway through the year. But what can we expect from you overall? Like what do you want to get to the fans for the most part this year? Man, I took a long break. Yeah. Cause can't stop, won't stop. They came out. It's almost probably gonna. It's gonna be like a year. Yeah. So I gotta make up for all that time I wasted. Yeah. Okay. Now, um, a lot of uh, musicians, once they get big, they be making these uh, movies about their life. Like, of course, they make the NWA movie. Well, uh, Ice Cube kind of had his foot in that. Uh, but 50 Cent made the Get Rich or Die Trying. Mm -hmm. But they just do the biopics about their lives. If there's not a movie out right now by an artist, what's an artist that you would like to maybe see do a movie? Mm -hmm. Probably like Keith, Young Boy, yeah. Kodak, one of them. Yeah. Okay. Now, speaking of uh, NBA and Kodak or Young Boy and Kodak, cause I don't know. I think they got mad at him for using the name. <laughs> Anywho, um, in the next five years, who do you think would be more relevant out of NBA and Kodak? Man, if Kodak could stay out of jail, yeah. Kodak probably can. Yeah. 
Okay. Maybe Stan J and Youngboy just gonna take over. Mm -hmm. That's actually one of the main questions that kind of left out. Mm -hmm. But moving on, uh, with so many artists in not only Nashville but just worldwide, what makes you different? Why should the world listen to C bands? Cause I got I got a different story to tell. Yeah. And everything I say is genuine from my heart. Yeah. I ain't just like freestyling and that. Yeah. Or like don't got no meaning. Yeah. It's just real. Yeah. Okay. Now, um, there's, I know you said you haven't performed yet, but if there's a song that you could perform, maybe tonight, what's the song that you know you'll perform? Yeah, I'll probably perform the intro. I'll, yeah. I'll okay. Okay, definitely. Now, what's some advice you can give to an artist, uh, like maybe wanting to start rapping, or that's maybe somewhat where you were at maybe last year. Like, you gonna take that shit serious, take it serious. Yeah. And be confident in yourself and push yourself. You know, nobody don't push yourself. All you got is yourself. Mm -hmm. So you gotta do it. Mm -hmm. You know, like, you gotta put like 24-7 into it. Yeah. You gotta be serious. Okay. It's your boy C. Band. We're like, ain't shit, man. You are now rocking with Calm Down TV. Calm down before we shut this bitch down. <laughs>